Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is actually my fourth time recording this video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hopefully this one is the best yet. It will be if you're seeing this video. If you have not seen any of my previous videos, I am a recent college graduate in business administration with a double minor in counseling and Bible. I have a pretty specific reason for why I chose those, so I'm actually going to make a video later on kind of explaining that purpose. Um, but in the meantime, I am actually recently engaged and the purpose of this video. So if you've seen any of my old videos, you can probably tell I'm a very budget friendly kind of person and I think a wedding day should be no different. Um, I've been referring to my wedding day as my marriage kickoff party. So the last thing I want to do for a kickoff party is go into debt because it's the beginning of something. It's not the end point that you're looking forward to, it's just the beginning. And in my opinion, investing into later on in your marriage is way more important than that first wedding day. I've been kind of on a crash course because I have a six and a half month engagement. There's been a few things that have really stuck out to me as quite important. The first one being set a budget before you do anything, anything else. So once you figure out your budget, then my next suggestion would be you and your fiance really think about what you're wanting out of your wedding. Really think about what's important to you. Keep that within the, the filter of the budget. Once you have kind of that idea, it can help you with the details. For example, me and my fiance decided that we really wanted to prioritize getting to meet with our guests. We wanted more of a mingling atmosphere, so we decided on like a backyard wedding. My next suggestion is, as I was saying before, it's about you and your future spouse beginning your lives together. It's the first time you get to kind of present yourselves as a family unit. Um, so just plan your day according to that and, and really enjoy your wedding day because it is a reflection of that. So stay true to who you are and I think you'll feel a lot more natural on your wedding day. Kind of a simple but tangible um, example on that would be a guest book. So this is actually a Jenga set and the guests can sign this. So me and my fiance love playing games. It was kind of one of our bonding things. We played uh, Settlers of Catan. If you guys are Catan fans, you know where it's at. The expansions are where it gets real fun. This is a fun way to kind of reflect who we are as a couple and get those uh, signatures and notes on it from guests. Um, really find what is worth the most. So for example, for me, the photography and videography is very important to me. Not everyone that we care about is going to be able to make it to the wedding. So having the pictures and those videos of the special moments um, are really important to us. Um, so just kind of figure out what you're wanting to put the most money towards. Like I said earlier, if your biggest reflection of you as a couple is the food you guys eat, perhaps live music, um, maybe DJ the dancing and having like high quality DJ. So again, you know, splurge on the items that are really important to you and you know, cut, cut in other ways. It should be a fun, enjoyable time that people look back at and think, that's them. I'm still very much in the process, so I by no means have it all figured out. Um, so I just kind of am kind of bringing you guys along this journey with me since honestly I'm learning. <laughs> My next suggestion would be not necessarily this exact planner, um, but I would recommend have some sort of checklist. While I'm not doing everything included in this book, it is a great reference point, and my sister-in-law actually kindly gave this to me and included some notes of her own based on her wedding day. Even if you're not hiring a planner, or have a few people who have been married and been through the process to ask them questions. While their wedding may have different priorities from you, kind of the general process is still very similar. Is that the last thing? I believe that's the last thing. And my final thing is, if you have been married already and had the wedding experience, um, what was either your best decision and what was your biggest regret? Um, and then for those of you who have not been married, my question for you would be, what is your biggest fear in the wedding planning process or just what question do you have um, that maybe I can answer? 
either once I do get married or that I can potentially try to figure out before I get married. If you've made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Until the next time I see you, don't forget to always choose love.